Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone's doing really, really well. Um, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is something a little different. So we're going to be exploring Evernote again, uh, but specifically a notebook that I've been using for the last few weeks to help like organize any events or organize any things that I'm doing. The notebook itself is called Pipeline, and I've been using it in a lot of different contexts. I've actually been using it for a couple of months now, maybe since December, which now I've sort of formalized as something that I think is working for me and something that I think will carry on. So this is how I plan inside of Evernote. So as you can see here, I've got inside this notebook a lot of different things like experiments, rotors, and uh, guest calendar, university calendar, collaboration and information. These are all calendars that I've created using this pipeline method. I'm really not sure where I found it from, but it actually has become one of the most useful things in my routine. So as you can see, this is my editorial calendar. I've talked about this a couple of times, um, but this is where the premise started. So I actually started with the editorial calendar as my basis. So this is the editorial calendar. A couple of you guys have seen it a little bit, uh, and it's a way I plan my content. But as you can see, it's a table with the date on the left-hand side, the name of the video in the middle, and the status of that specific video. So I've been able to apply this to editorial calendar, to medium, to collab, um, to any fitness stuff as well, and also university as well. So I'm going to just demonstrate this one for you. So as you can see, I've actually been able to submit all of my grades there, which is pretty handy. I'm actually able to like see at a glance everything I'm doing. So let's start with the concept. So the concept itself actually came from being able to see things in a timeline view. So as you can see, it starts out with October being first. This is when I actually started this. And with June and May being the, the latest stuff at the bottom of the list. So the, the timeline actually goes downwards. So I can actually see everything. So I keep dates on the left hand side and also keep um, a central column with the information coming. I like to see the status of the thing, which means I can go and actually update it and I have notes on the right. So this is actually very handy because, so this is this month, for example, I've got this setup of all of my videos. So this is the month ahead. It helps me plan the full month ahead and actually keep an eye on all of the activities. So how can you be using it inside of your routine? So I've applied this concept to Medium as well. So I can actually keep track of all of the Medium posts that I've done so far and things that I'm planning to post, the status and the progress of it. I've also been able to apply it to university. So this has actually been very handy in giving me a bird's eye. So I use this as well for being able to plan and visualize things at a glance. So as I can see, I've actually can visualize my editorial calendar at a glance, but I can now visualize my university calendar at a glance. So as you can see, everything's all there in one sheet so I can see it all. And all of the, so these two modules are uncompleted. This one's like been a longer term one but at the bottom are the latest stuff that I've done and I can plot in all the results that I have. I actually haven't updated this one. I don't know about 63%. Uh, percent. So it's actually a pretty handy calendar. So how I create this is I essentially start out with a basic note. Um, so for example, you can do it for finance as well. Uh, but if I click uh, pipeline, once you go in, um, I create a table inside of Evernote. So maybe four rows across. And you can have whatever it is, date, title. So you could use this for planning. So I'm just gonna actually plan an event necessarily. Let's say you're an event planner. Um, and let's have status here. So let's just speed this. So you can have May, second, and then your event. So uh, wedding with Bob, uh, Bob and Sarah. So, so you're a wedding planner and you have the status here. Um, need to prepare meals. I don't know, maybe you took, they ordered pie and chips, etc., etc. So you can actually have this as your plot out. The good thing about this is if you're looking to tally, tally some potential work that you've got coming on. So if you're a freelancer, you can add this list down at the bottom, which means it's almost like you've bookmarked this for later. So uh, Sally and Giles, I don't know, um, they're getting married potentially in June and you've been asked to do the wedding, okay? So you actually have that potential list there. So going back to the editorial calendar, this is actually what I do with you guys when you recommend something. I have community thoughts at the bottom, which means that I can plot upwards and actually have that there. 
So the benefit of using something like this as well is, let's say I was in a meeting with my um, tutor, a uh, great guy, I basically was like, oh, okay, this is my productive grades, and I basically brought this up, I think I brought it up in presentation view, at, oh, and you can do this on web now, I believe, and you can actually see this, there you go, you can sort of demonstrate stuff, um, okay, I've got this and this and this, but it's actually a handy way to visually represent something as well, especially if you're sending a note over and you want to copy the public link and send it over to a friend, it actually looks really good inside of uh, web now. So you can actually have this for a lot of different things, books to read calendar, this is something I actually haven't used, but I had this month titled Progress Notes, um, which was a handy approach. My week review, which I started to do, obviously this is more of a standstill one, so I can have that there. Uh, my workout record, this is again something that I didn't do, but I would have tallied this like this if it was my workout record, um, and actually had uh, the date, the exercise, I can't spell exercise, uh, the, the record or the, the tally, uh, the notes, and then I would actually put all of this stuff in. So Monday, bench press, 15 times four. I don't know, I'm not that strong. Um, but yeah, so what I have up at the top left is a way for me to see all of these visually. So I've got shortcuts to all of these, which is very handy. Overall, this method has become very useful in being able to set up anything for the future. So I definitely recommend trying out with one of the things you've got. I call it the pipeline um, because it's replicatable and you guys can plan ahead. Whether it's content, whether it's an activity you're doing, or whether you just want a bird's eye view, a mini dashboard to everything you've got, this is a place. This is almost my dashboard right here. And I access these uh, very often, so it's very helpful to have them in the shortcut section. Anyway guys, I hope you found value in this video. Let me know in the comments whether you're using something like this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, it's free, so you should subscribe because there's an amazing community. You can comment and recommend anything, or you can comment and ask any questions anytime, and we'll be able to help. Thanks very much everyone, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.